Hi, Brian from the EAW Design Team. Today I'll be going over the image import feature in the new version of Resolution 2. To begin, make sure all images or drawings are saved as a JPEG. If not, these must be converted. I like to use Adobe Acrobat, or you could simply screenshot your drawings, then edit in any image editing program. Also important is the drawings must be to scale with at least one known measurement. Once your JPEGs are saved on a permanent location on the hard drive and you've opened up Resolution 2, click on the top or plan view, then click File, then Import Drawing. Click the Import Drawing button, then browse to the location on your hard drive where you've saved your drawings. Select the first drawing you wish to bring into the project, then click Open. We'll choose Top View as this is a plan layout. Then using the two red X's indicate the start and end of the known dimension. Then type in that known dimension next to ruler length. Hit enter. Then click on the position tab and drag the blue X to the zero of the X, Y coordinates. For a more accurate position, you may use the plus sign at the bottom of the screen to zoom in. Click Accept. Now you've imported your first drawing into the plan or top view. Now let's move on to section view. Click on File, then Import Drawing. Click the Import Drawing button, and again browse to the location on your hard drive where your drawings are saved. Select your second drawing, then click Open. For this one, we'll choose Side View. Then we'll move the red X's to the start and end of our known dimension. We'll enter our known dimension next to ruler length. Hit enter, then click on position and move the blue X to the zero of the X, Y coordinates. Again, we'll zoom in for a more accurate position. Click accept. And now our second drawing is imported into the section view. At this point, you may now begin to construct your surfaces over both drawings that you've just imported. Once you've completed constructing your surfaces, you may go back to the drawings and edit the opacity. I like to work with an opacity of 20 or 30 percent. This way you may clearly see the mapping of each surface while still being able to view the details of the drawing underneath. And that does it for the image import. From here, you would design a system within the venue that you've just created. Thank you for watching.